Howdy, folks. I'm Rude Ruthini. I'm ruthlessly ruining rascally riddles. I'm Amber. And here are more rascally riddles for us to ruin. Although, if I were Elmer Fudd, I would say that was wascally, and this wouldn't be alliteration at all. <laughs> folks, before we begin, I want to talk about money. It's always a good topic. I want to share with you our plans for monetization. There hasn't been anything set in stone yet, but what we would like to do is donate a significant proportion of the proceeds from those to charity so that we can actually do good with the, this channel and give back to the community in some way, shape, or form. So we haven't decided on all the details on that yet, but we're working through it. So just to give you an update on exactly where that ad revenue is going to be going. And as for the rest of the money, it'll either go towards the channel or towards helping to secure Amber and I's future so that we can continue to produce videos here. So let me know what you think of those plans and maybe I'll put a poll out. So let's get started. All right, folks, our first letter on the Sunday morning special is titled, Am I a Jerk for Joking About My Husband in Front of Our Work Colleagues After He Refuses to Socialize? About a month ago, I, a 38-year-old female, was promoted to a higher position at my job. I am now a more senior position than my husband, a 41-year-old male, at work. My husband has always told me how happy he was that I got the promotion, but sometimes I get the feeling that he's embarrassed that I'm technically his superior now. Well, last night we had a work-related social event. It was supposed to be an opportunity to build team cohesion and that sort of thing. My husband didn't really want to go. He's pretty introverted. He also said that he had a migraine and didn't want to make it worse. I told him that it would be weird if he didn't come and that people might think that he's jealous of me getting the promotion. After some more persuasion, I was able to convince him to come along. When we got there, he greeted a few people and ended up spending most of the time sitting in a corner on his own and only chatting with a few people at a time. Aside from that, the event was pretty good and most of our co-workers were present. At some point, I was in a large group when Sarah, a 46-year-old female who had not yet seen my husband there, asked where he was and jokingly asked if he was as serious and mysterious at home as he was at work. I told them that he was the complete opposite at home. I said that while at work he seemed organized, at home he was a bit of a slob, and I joked about how he always leaves his laundry all over the house, and I mentioned things like how he complains too much about random trivial things like the neighbor's kids sometimes playing in our yard. I also mentioned how he has a fear of heights and how he was shaking the entire time when we crossed the rope bridge during our honeymoon. I did say a few other things like how I sometimes feel like I'm his parent. Everyone was interested and surprised to hear all of this, and we did share many laughs together. At some point, my husband walked into the conversation and quickly pieced together what we were talking about. The rest of the conversation was awkward after that. On the drive home, my husband was not speaking. When I asked him if everything was alright, he said that I surprised him. I was annoyed by him being vague, so I told him that I knew that he wasn't feeling 100%, but that he was acting childish for not socializing and acting offended. He said that it was childish and rude that I was sharing his personal details with our colleagues. I then told him that he was blowing things out of proportion, but he didn't respond, and the rest of the ride home he was silent. When we got home, we argued again about the night's events. My husband said that my behavior was appalling, and he questioned if I had any respect for him. I was angry by his outburst, so I told him that he was only being sensitive because I was technically his superior now, and that was what was really bothering him. The argument ended there as my husband didn't want to waste any more time and went to bed. This morning, I text my younger sister about what happened, and she accused me of being insensitive. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? Yes, you're the jerk. Someone seems a little uh, ruffled by this promotion, but it's not your husband. OP, it seems like you're on a power trip. You're now in a superior position at work, and you feel like this gives you the right to denigrate your husband. Why would you tell your colleagues about his fear of heights, about how messy he is at home and all this sort of stuff? Like, yeah, you all were having a good laugh at his expense. Yeah. And also, my, a migrated is a legitimate reason to stay home and not wanting to be social. Like, you're not less of a person or childish for only socializing with a few people and sitting in a corner. Yeah. So I think that OP 
is not treating her husband very nicely and makes me question if she even loves him at this point in time because mm -hmm. this isn't how you treat somebody that you love. He was in a sensitive position to begin with, a vulnerable position, and then you decided to dig into him and treat him like he was just some kind of plaything and like, oh, look at all the personal details I have on this guy. And that's rude. You shouldn't be sharing personal information that your husband doesn't want shared. Some people are very private and they would rather not have people know their personal business and that's perfectly acceptable. And the fact that you're dishing on him like this, I think is a breach of trust, to be quite honest. Mm -hmm. And I think he's absolutely right to question whether you have any respect for him, because it sounds like you don't. It sounds like this is a new development with this new promotion. You suddenly feel like you're all this and that and your husband's nothing and you're taking every opportunity to put him down and then blaming it on him being upset about the promotion yeah he's not the one who is having an issue with this promotion it's you op yeah i really do feel like this is more or less op making it into an issue as opposed to her husband who's just going along and being happy for her in general like it then he was like oh i'm so happy for you and then she's like ah he's jealous <laughs> But there's more. Yeah. There's some comic thing here that will will make you wonder even more about OP here. So let's get into those. And UMA by UMA says, You're the jerk. From your description, I don't see your husband being jealous of you. Instead, it appears that you might harbor hidden sense of superiority due to your higher position. You might not be willing to admit it, but it seems like you're doing your best to subtly belittle him in various situations and in front of others to highlight your own status. And OP replies, it's hard to say in all one post, but I do get the feeling that he's uncomfortable with me being in a higher position than him. Since getting the promotion, I've noticed that he seems to insist on paying more often for things, like when we go out to eat. Also, he's been complimenting my cooking a lot lately, which I have interpreted as his way of trying to reestablish what he thinks are traditional roles in the household. So folks, OP's definition of her husband acting jealous is one paying for dinner and complimenting her oh no those are unhealthy coping mechanisms <laughs> right like even if he is harboring some secret jealousy if he's expressing that by complimenting your cooking and taking you out to dinner like paying for dinner so what it doesn't sound like it's hurting your marriage whereas your behavior is actively harming yeah. your marriage like i could see if op your husband change you to the kitchen radiator and is like, you stay here, this is where you belong, then yeah, that would be like, not good and bad, right? But he's like, oh, your dinner is lovely today. Maybe he's just trying to show some appreciation and show you that he appreciates what you do. Mm -hmm. And as opposed to just taking this as him being jealous. And he could genuinely be impressed and want to show that appreciation by treating you and mm -hmm. giving you compliments. Like, yeah. I think it says a lot about OP that her immediate assumption is, oh, this is jealousy and not, oh, my husband loves me and appreciates what I do for us in our relationship. Yeah, it's all a competition to OP is what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Like OP has to figure out a way to be better than her husband. And like, that's not a good place to be. You're a team. And Fuse Salamander 7736 says, You're the jerk. You basically outed yourself this entire post from A, admitting that your husband was an introvert, and then pointedly sharing embarrassing stories about him, and B, actively gaslighting and getting angry with him when it sounds like he was being completely reasonable in his complaints. I recommend therapy, not just couples therapy, by the way. OP, it seems like you have a lot that you need to fix at both work and home on this one. And OP replies, by introverted, I mean that he doesn't really like social events with large gatherings. Aside from that, he's usually more social. People like him in one-on-one -on -one situations, or in a small group, he's very friendly and funny. <laughs> <laughs> which is an introvert right there and it sounds like he was doing that he was talking to people in small groups he just didn't want to be part of the giant social thing and opie's like that's childish and immature how dare you only want to talk to people in small groups like if he had made a fuss about it and just stood in the corner with his face in the corner then i could be like <laughs> Oh, maybe OP has a point here. Maybe he's acting childish. Why are you standing in the corner? <laughs> I'm here because my wife told me to be. Pew Salamander 7736 says, Yes, that's the definition of introverted. Aside from that, 
A lot of introverts can be very socially adept. The difference is that most social interactions are followed by a borderline mandatory need for alone time to recuperate. Does your husband practice this? And Opie replies, he does typically need to rest and separate from people after most social things. So introvert. And Livid Test 8575 says, Info, do you even like your husband? And OP replies, of course I do. He's a great person and I love spending time with him. <laughs> you don't show it, OP. Well, and OP doesn't even talk about all the great things mm -hmm. that she likes about him other than like, oh, he's acting childish. It and... just sounds like an ego. Like this entire thing is all about her and her promotion. Yeah. And he, her, and I think, again, a lot of this is probably subconscious, but she either consciously or subconsciously sees her as superior to him now and is acting on that. Yeah. And instead of telling embarrassing stories about your husband, maybe you should have stuck to things like, how great your husband is and all the good things he does yeah at home right? exactly you could have praised him and you could have told stories that are funny for both of you because yeah. you might have stories that are funny for both of you yeah. like those are fair game exactly all right folks our next letter is titled am i a jerk for refusing to pay for my sister's wedding dress after she ruined mine hey reddit i'm a long time lurker first time poster this situation has been eating me up and I'd really appreciate some outside perspective. So I'm a 28 year old female and my sister is a 26 year old female and I have had our ups and downs as most siblings do. However, we've been really close the past few years and I was so excited to have her as my maid of honor for my wedding last year. Flashback to my wedding, I had this beautiful dress that I spent a fortune on. After the ceremony and during the reception, I noticed some red wine that had been spilled on the bottom of my dress. I was devastated. I later found out from a bridesmaid that my sister had accidentally knocked over her glass of wine when she was trying to take a funny photo. She didn't come forward about it and didn't even apologize when I confronted her. Fast forward to now, my sister is getting married and she's fallen in love with a dress that's way outside of her budget. She asked me if I would help her pay for half of it as her wedding gift. I flat out refused. I brought up how she ruined my dress and didn't take any responsibility. I feel like I shouldn't have to contribute towards her. Now my family is divided. Half of them think that I'm being petty and that I should just let go of grudges. The other half thinks that I'm justified. So am I the jerk for refusing to pay for my sister's wedding dress after she ruined mine? All right, folks, what do you think? No, you're not the jerk, but I think most of those posts, you didn't even need to specify like even if your sister was the nicest sister in the world you still wouldn't be obligated to pay for her wedding dress i think the fact that she's done something hurtful of course you don't want to do something for someone who has done something hurtful and doesn't even see the harm in what they've done but yeah your money well you know i mean i think amber brings up a good point but i also think that op this is this doesn't seem like she absolutely ruined the dress it just seems like a small portion of the dress got you know ruined and i don't know Sometimes wine can be really hard to get out of things, and so maybe it was one of those things where OP tried to get it dry cleaned afterwards and couldn't. And I certainly can understand OP's frustration and that their sister didn't take responsibility for this. But it also doesn't sound like it was malicious. You wouldn't go over mm -hmm. and purposely, you know, throw red wine on your dress. Yeah. Well, I definitely think OP should probably work on that grudge. I do think it's not healthy, the level of resentment she's holding against her sister, or just not talk to her sister for a little while. Like, But this level of upset, like I understand it's upsetting, but it's not good to you personally to hold on to that much resentment and mm -hmm. just kind of let it stew. Yeah, and certainly I don't think that the sister was right to not admit to it, and I think that she was wrong to hide it and then not take responsibility. So I'm not trying to say that she gets off scot free or anything like that, but I don't think that it's necessarily healthy for OP just to hang on to this stuff. And the ex only excuse, like Amber was saying, that you need to not pay for her dress is to say, I don't want to pay for your dress. I'm sorry, that's a lot. So I can certainly understand, again, OP's frustration here, but I think that they're just giving the wrong answer. Yeah, as a side note, the more Reddit stories I read, the more I wonder, why don't they just serve white wine at weddings? <laughs> I think most of the time they do. Like, there are very few weddings where they serve red wine, from what I understand. And I don't know why they would serve red wine at a wedding, unless it was, like... I feel like that's the kind of thing you should have in reserve for, like, if the someone tries to sabotage the wedding yeah. wearing white. But, like, otherwise, just... 
use shrinks that are a little easier to get out of dresses. Yeah. And com initial says info. The answer doesn't make you any less of a jerk, but I'm curious who paid for your wedding dress and why does everyone feel like you should pay for hers? And OP replies, I make a good living and my family is unfortunately aware of this. So that just seems like a general entitlement issue with OP's family. All right, folks, it is tea time. <laughs> Grab your beverages of choice. I've got some tea right here. Amber's got her jovial Bob Stein joke. Where is a monster's favorite place to swim? I can tell you exactly where a monster's favorite place to swim, Amber, because I'm friends with a lot of monsters and they don't like swimming at all. And so their favorite place to swim is not to swim at all. Lake Erie. Yeah. No. And I've got licorice spice. All right, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Happy spectacular special Sunday. I hope this Sunday is special for you as it is special for me. Amber, we need some kind of moral advice and or guidance. And please, please have it in the form of a whoopsies. Maybe OP in the first story should uh, seriously consider going to therapy to uh, work on their issues. Oops, did I say that out loud? I would have said that out loud anyway. I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.